is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis coming to you on a quick video. I wanted to let you guys know I got some new merchandise available, not just t-shirt anymore. I got different type of t-shirts, different type of shirts and logos that you can purchase on my spread shirt and also hoodies now. We have expanded and added more to the channel and more merchandise for the brand. Thanks for supporting. It will be in the description and the links will be in the comment section below. Thanks for helping me and supporting the movement. Quinn Wade, Basketball Analysis. I'm going to check out the video. What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade, Basketball Analysis. Coming to y'all a quick video. We're going to talk about the breaking news that the Minnesota Timberwolves, after a couple of years with Tom Thibodeau and making the playoffs last year, in the last 14 years, he was a coach to be able to do it. Plus, he was a GM. Also, he has finally been fired. I'm not going to say, like, I want him to get fired. But a lot of us knew this was going to happen. The Wolves um, has been a disappointment this year. Even though they, they did lose to me, their best player, and Jimmy Butler, when they traded him, and I thought that they would not make the playoffs after that trade. It ended up becoming true as they're only 19 and 21. They're not in the playoffs right now. They got to they had going a significant win streak if they want to come back to winning. I feel like the thing that surprised me the most was the fact that they're thinking about picking up Fred Hoiberg as either the GM or the coach. And Fred Hoiberg, to me, he never really had a fair chance in Chicago. So I don't really know how good of a coach he really is because he really didn't have the talent. And when he did have the talent, they made it to the playoffs, but they never was good enough to win at all. So I can't really say he sucks or not that good of a coach just because he got fired. There's a lot of good coaches that get fired. Sometimes it's just all about moving forward. Sometimes it's just about trying something new. And sometimes you just need to... You know, as you change your personnel, you need a new face that that can, you know, go right along with that plan of um, the team you're trying to build. But whoever takes this job is going to be one of the more attractive jobs, not just because they don't have a good history in Minnesota with winning, but the fact that they actually have an all-star caliber player and Carl Anthony Towns, and he has been a multiple-time all-star, and he has made it to the all-NBA team before, and he's still giving you 20 and 10, and... You still have solid role players like Taj Gibson. You have players like, obviously, Dario Sarge and Robert Covington, who they picked up. You have some decent floor space, and you have some lineups that you can throw out there long, tall, or even bigs, or even going small. So this team is not the worst thing that a coach will have. It's actually one of the better, more attractive picks. Um, obviously, the hardest part about it is that you play in the West, so... You know, it's going to be hard to make it to the playoff consistently if your coach with this roster is good enough and it can get better just with development. But at the same time, it is tough to win in the Western Conference. And that's what I give Tom Thibodeau even more credit, the fact that he was able to make a trade for Jimmy Butler. They gave up some decent players for Jimmy, but for them to finally end that curse of losing Kevin Garnett and – not coming even close to making it to the playoffs. And remember, the Minnesota Timberwolves was the third. They got all the way to the third seed last year, even though they didn't stay there that long. They, they was able to stay in that top five as long as Jimmy Butler was healthy. They was going to have home court advantage um, all season until he went down with knee injuries and they ended up hurting them because they couldn't win without him. And that would have been even crazier if they would have finished in the top five and got home court advantage. They probably could even got out of the first round. Um, instead of playing Houston in the first round, as it's the eighth seed, they could have actually had probably got out of the first round, and that would have been even crazier. But it is sad to see a guy like Tom Thibodeau, who has tried to do everything he can to get this team to win. Darryl Rose is playing a career year, um, and you try to work it out. You try to figure out a way to keep Jimmy Butler out of the rush to trade him. You try to wait for the right offer because you know once you trade Jimmy Butler that you're going to have pressure to win games. You're going to have pressure to prove that you made the right decision for even giving up Larry Market and Chris Dunn and Zach Levine for him. And he did that first year, but it was just tough to see him you know, we knew once Jimmy Butler was gone that they were going to lose the, in the playoffs. It's like they, they're not going to make it. And I knew that as soon as he got traded. And it ended up costing him his job. The, the, the trade that got Jimmy Butler to them to help them get to the playoffs was the same trade that hurted him because he ended up getting traded last, I mean, this year, which hurted them from last year. What they was building is something special. And for it to go crumbling in one year hurts. But – 
it's a business and, and at the end of the day it happens and Tom Thibodeau just unfortunately he wasn't able to find ways to win with this current roster and since it is a business they wanted to go in a different direction as the team is built and going to play significantly different um maybe Tom Thibodeau is not the right person for this job um, they still have talent. That's the most important thing that they not ain't like they're a terrible rebuilding team that only can win five games to ten. They they can still be a twenty five, thirty five win team and they always gonna be one piece away. I wish Wiggins would step up a little bit more. I haven't seen him become the guy that we thought the first two years he was in the league. He showed that he was destined for stardom. He showed that he was going to be a destined all-star, even though he still can get there. And I'm not doubting that he will or won't. Um, he has to play better, and he, he hasn't really panned out. And Towns can't got off to a rocky start this year, and now he's been able to pick it up. And he's been trying a little bit more on defense. It's something that he really needs to do. Um, and he has been doing that, but Towns got to find ways to, to help his team win games. And that's something that he has struggled to do as an all-star, as an all-NBA player. Um, is struggle, find ways to win and dominate games consistently. He's going to get you to 20 to 25, but I need you to do and give me everything you got just to win a basketball game. And he just don't have that heart enough to where I'm about to go out here and get every stop. I'm going to go out here and get every point I can to help my team win. He just don't have that takeover. I, I'm unstoppable mentality. He, he has the fact that he's a great player. He has the fact that he he, he can he, he's one of the better players, but he can have that mentality that I can do whatever I want when I want because I'm one of the best at, in, in the game, and he just doesn't have that right now. And maybe he developed that at 26, 27 years old, and until then, they're going to be a decent team because they don't try hard enough, they don't care enough, they don't fight enough, and they just don't have that rah-rah mentality. And that's something that Jimmy Butler, to me, was saying is that these guys don't do whatever they take to win. They don't do whatever they take to 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 win and dominate games. They do enough or just good, and, and that stops you from hitting the ceiling that you can. And that's why Jimmy Butler wanted to go. He knew he wasn't going to be able to win with this roster. He knew he wasn't going to be able to win with the personnel because they didn't want to win and they didn't want it enough um, for themselves. And they end up costing them um, a playoff spot if they don't make it this year. And then they're going back to getting high draft picks. But what can you really get that can really take you over? You already got one a wing. You already got an all-star. You already got three-point shooting. You already got some, you know, decent role players. Now we're just trying to figure out how to win. And they haven't been able to do that this year. So we'll see what happens. I think it's unfortunate because I like Tom Timbado. I feel like he is a good coach. And I think he can really go out there and win games and I feel like it's just unfortunate that it, he cost him his job that he was able to do what he was able to do last year and they, they had a short leash um, on him this year and it ended up costing him not working um, for, you know as a coach but hopefully they don't go for Fred Hoiberg that's why I'm going to close the video out saying I don't think Fred Hoiberg has um, may, they maybe could be a better team offensively but defensively, I don't really see him fixing their defense. And as a GM, I don't, I don't know what he can bring to the table because I, I don't remember Fred Hoiberg being a great GM. So I can't base his GM skills off anything. Um, and we couldn't do it for Tom. And Tom had some struggles being a GM. But he did a decent job the last two years in finding ways to get the parts he needed to help this team win. It just wasn't enough. But Fred Hoiberg, he hasn't really been – proven as a great coach he hasn't been proven as a great gm personally to my opinion but i still feel like you know you have to do what's best for the team and i do want to see if they're going to find a coach or they're going to just give the assistant coach the, the the interim coach they call it um the spot until they can find something different do they want to go more a serious coach do they want to go with more of an office of tactician do they want to go with a coach that you know is a player or coach um so I don't really know what direction they should go in. I just feel like they have to find a way um, to get a guy that wants to stay in Minnesota. They was able to sign Wiggins. They was able to sign um, Towns. Now they got to find that, that one guy that can take them to the promised land. If none of those two guys, you know, turn into that guy, they're going to have to find it through trade again or through free agency. But I don't really see nobody wanting and rushing to play in Minnesota. And that's going to be the problem, just like Tim Thibodeau figured out um with keeping 
this team competitive, and I hopefully they don't go on another run of being terrible for multiple years. I want to see this team more competitive, and I want to see this team back in the playoffs. Even though I might want it, they still got to want it for themselves. They still got to go out there and fight, and they still got to go out there and try to win games even more. But until then, this team is not the worst. The team is not the best. The team is just good, and they one piece away from being back in the contender. They're two piece away or one major piece away uh, from being, uh, you know, one of the championship contenders. So um, I think Warriors are on the top right now, and I think that that's the team you got to go through. But these players are so young with Towns and Wiggins that they have another three to four years that – if they stay together, they could possibly take over the West, depending on if they make a move or they continue to develop and have, um, you know, become better players and have a different mindset than they have right now. So we'll see what happens. Um, this team was going in the right direction. They took a huge step back this year. And now when they get their coach and their GM, we'll see if they can take a step with this current roster and make it better and get back to where they was last year a team that was competing, um, you know, to, to, to be almost a, a front. There was a team that was competing for a championship in the future, but losing Jimmy Butler put them a huge step back. And now we're going to see if they're going to be able to win with Towns and Wiggins. And they haven't been able to prove that, but, you know, we'll see what happens two to three years from now. Check out my website, analysisplayeron.com. Link will be in the description in the comment section below. Check out my Facebook page, analysisplayeron.com. Link will be in the description in the comment section below. Like on Facebook to show support. Thanks for liking on Facebook. Thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for liking the videos. Thanks for commenting. I read every comment. I enjoy making these videos. You go, you guys enjoy watching. That's why I continue to go. Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis. I'm going. I make videos every day. Um, check out my older videos. Y'all love them. If you love this one, you love that, those. And, um... Y'all be blessed.